If you've ever published a video to YouTube and left it a part that you should have edited out, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the YouTube editor to edit your published videos right here on YouTube. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today. Now, if your video editing sometimes leaves you looking and feeling like this, don't worry. In this video, I'm gonna show you a very quick and simple way that you can edit your videos even if you've already published, released, and distributed them on YouTube. Let's jump in and take a look now. So here's the situation. You've released your video to YouTube and when you watch it back, you realize you've left in that five second clip of you scratching your butt. Or maybe like some of us, you just rant too much and you need to cut out some of that additional talk. Here's how you do it. We find the video that we want to edit and we click on the details button here in our YouTube studio. This brings us into this screen, which looks should look quite familiar to most of you. Over here on the left, we click on editor and this will open our nice slick looking YouTube editor window. Let's jump in and show you how we can quickly edit down our videos here right on YouTube. Now I've had to squish my head down so that you can see the rest of this screen, but once we land in our editor window here, the first thing you wanna do is click on the trim button here in the top left, and this engages this blue outline. And this is important because now, if we just move our playhead, you can see that we can adjust the front of our video. We can trim off the front, and we can also trim off the back. If we go here, we can trim the end of our video. So if you have something on the front or the back, you can trim those off very easily. So this is great for live videos. So if you're doing a live video and you're just standing there looking like a stunned mullet at the start, you can actually come over here, zoom in, boom, boom, and actually trim off the front. Now, I do look like a stunned mullet here, so I'm going to see, can I trim off a little bit of this? Will I look any better? Let's just zoom in on this one so we can see. So what we can do is we can trim that handle to just before, and the, the waveform here will help you. It will tell you when you're talking. We don't need a second of Pete looking like that. So what if we start there? Well, if we release on that one, now what we can do is if we click over here, now when we hit play, one of the great things about DistroKid is that they are always very fast talking. Pete starts talking straight away. So that's a great way to cut off the front if you've got some additional space there. So I'm going to do that on this video to start with. Now keep in mind, every edit you make in this screen means it's going to change any timestamps. So if you've got timestamps down in your description, you may need to adjust them. Cards, end screens, all the rest. You may need to tweak those and edit your video. But it is a good way to trim and cut your video if it is already too long or you have some mistakes or things you want to remove. So let's continue on and show you some other tricks here in the YouTube editor. Now the key to successful editing is the zoom. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five levels of zoom. So if we go all the way to the left, this gives us our entire video across the bottom here. And if we go all the way to the right, one, two, three, four, five, you can see here that we're very super zoomed in. I do most of my editing at the second or third level because they're the areas where I can see things. But what you'll tend to find is you have to zoom out and then find the location you want to edit and then when you zoom in, it zooms in on that location. So keep that in mind. That's a good tip and a good sort of thing, a golden rule to keep in mind when you're editing in the YouTube editor. I'm determined to find the weirdest freeze frames of myself. Let's go to the end of the video now and show you how we can trim off the end. So back in the day, now what you want to do is bring your playhead. So we're just clicking and dragging on this playhead to bring it to the end here because then when we use our zoom up here in the top right, we can zoom in and it will be at that playhead, right? So what I probably want to do, I had this habit of putting a whole bunch of like trailing out music at the end of my videos and I don't really want Want that anymore. I kind of want it to finish about there. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to grab this end handle and trim it on back. And then I'm going to zoom back in and I'm going to find the exact point where I want this to end. So if we just click, just going to click in there, we're going to hit play. Yeah, about there. Now it's going to finish a bit more abruptly, but that's okay <laughs> for these ones. For these old videos I'm editing, that's okay. I just wanted to show you that we can, right, kid, and I'll see you on the next video. So instead of just like fading out for another five seconds and wasting everyone's time, I'm now going to finish it right there. So those two are done. Now, if that's all I wanted to do, I could zoom back out and I could hit the preview button here. 
And then all I need to do is hit the save button there and that would save in these two trims, this front and this end trim. And it takes about two to three hours and then it's updated. But I wanna show you how you can actually edit out in the middle of your video as well. So let's jump in and show you that now. Now that's all good if you wanna trim something at the front or the end of your video, but what if you've got something somewhere in the middle, which is more likely if you've made a mistake? Well, let's show you how to do that now. Once again, we click on the trim button, and let's just say that Pete rabbited on a bit too much here at the end. Well, we find about the point where we wanna remove it. We zoom in like this again, and we go, yeah, I reckon once I've got to about here, I didn't really need to say anything else. Let's just hit play. So what I'm gonna do now is go through so I didn't need to say any of that sort of stuff because I basically just repeat myself a bunch there. So I actually want to split it out between those words. So what do I do? I find the position here with my playhead and then down the bottom, I actually hit the split button. And now you'll notice that we have another one of these handles that can go either left or right. So I just choose whether I want to split it left like that or do I want to split it right like this? And you'll see that grayed out area is the bit that's going to be removed. So if we zoom out a little bit, I can remove this all the way up to here where I start doing my outro. So all of this section where I just repeat myself for about ooh, 11 seconds, I can actually remove. If we want to preview this, all we need to do is click just here and hit the play button. It will skip this section and we can see whether this will work with our new edit. My music to be available in as many places as possible. So what I'm going to do now is Okay, so that's not the right spot, right? So we can go back and edit again. I did that on purpose. So we'll zoom back out. We'll click here. We'll zoom in. And we don't need any of that, so what I'm gonna do, we just need it to end there. Let's just see, we'll click back here again, we'll play it. But in my view, personally, I would like my music to be available in as many places as possible. Yeah, that's cool. So because I don't take a breath, because I talk too much, uh, I didn't leave a natural gap there, but so it's gonna be a little bit clippy there. Let's just play that again so you can hear it one more time. Too, but in my view, here personally, I, I would like my music to be available breathe, in man, as many breathe. places as possible. And there you go. So if like me, you have a bunch of songs. Yeah, so it's not going to be perfect, right? So what if we want to combine these two methods? Well, that's super easy as well. All we need to do is come to the end here. Now that we know how to split in the middle and do that part, we can grab our playhead, scroll to the end here. And again, that spot where we wanted it to go away and just there. Now, if, if these are all completely separate clips, it's going to be a lot cleaner, right? It's going to be a lot easier. But here, we're just going to remove that part like that. And there we go. And we'll just hit play on this one's video. There you go, it just finishes there. Again, you're trading off being a bit abrupt for having a quicker, more succinct video. What if we go to the front here again? We zoom in like so. Let's just take one more look at this. Oh, we don't want the oh look and we don't want that window out. So let's bring this out and put it to about there. We'll zoom in one more notch like that. I reckon about there is good. Now, when we hit play, one of the great things about DistroKid is that they are always... We don't have the er uh face. We are halfway through our first word. So that's good. And that's going to be okay. We'll zoom all the way back out. And you can see here that this is the section that we're going to have in. And then this section is in as well. We're removing this section here. We're splitting and removing that entirely. The front and the end are off. Now to complete this process, we click on the preview button, that kind of locks them in there. And then the last step in this process is to click on save. I'm gonna save this in. This is an old video. You can check it out, link down below. You'll be able to see the new version because this takes about two to three hours to actually finish. It says down here, video is being processed. Please check back later. So once you've edited it, People watching it will see the old version. By the time you see this video, you'll be seeing the new version without those parts in there. So if you want to check that out and you want to learn about DistroKid and how to release the stores, check that out. There's also two more videos down there as well that you can check out if you want to. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner. Do I need to edit this video at the end? Probably. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.